Here we have a kangaroo roast with an assortment of vegetables. And many people have asked me why did I use a circular curve rather than the parabolic curve. And here in the tropics, when you wish to cook, you don't want a highly focused spot. You want a broad spot that will cover the bottom of a pan or a wok or a roaster. It's nice to have a focus spot for an early morning coffee. So when the sun's going directly overhead, you actually want to spread the cooking load. You want a more focused spot the lower the elevation of the sun or your latitude because you're trying to reflect onto a flat uh, a flat base of something and the, the higher the angle of your, your reflector the harder that is to do without creating a very broad ellipsoid on the bottom of your pan. So the more focused at the lower levels the easier it is to cook earlier in the day or to cook at higher latitudes. So that's why we used a curved reflector but the most important part apart from the curve of your reflector is just how reflective the material is that you cover it with. And we used the base of, um, of some uh, Christmas wrapping which was highly silvery but unfortunately when we glued it we lost a lot of the reflectivity so I estimate that the actual efficiency of this reflector is about 50 to 60 percent. We could easily make it a lot more if we used highly polished anodized aluminium or some of the other products that you see on the internet. But the overall design of this was to create a reflector which had a broad focus point to cook with and to have it so that it could be converted into some form of table and so you didn't have to actually have your head and body over the top or in the reflector while you're actually trying to stir or cook. And the position is on the uh, on our observation deck above the roof which gives us a nice sea breeze sea out here to Magnetic Island and a beautiful clear sky so this is our first kangaroo roast